How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of our Warframe 2024 playthrough. Today we have lots to get done. As you remember at the end of the last episode, I did say I was going to go ahead and start clearing out some nodes, and I have indeed done that. So, I focused mainly on the Grenier planets, so Mercury Junction is now cleared out. Um, Earth is basically cleared out, but I want to do Vehec on camera. Mars is cleared out. Ceres is cleared out. Uh, Saturn is also cleared out. And I did make a start on Uranus, but yeah, I didn't finish it by the time I wanted to start this episode. And yeah, we are now MR6, which means that we should have access to sorties, I believe, once we've done... I think it's the second dream? One of these quests <laughs> we need to do to unlock sorties, which we really should do. Great way of getting some early platinum occasionally sorties getting some early riven mods so that's nice um and yeah that, that's kind of where we're at this is like our entry point now into the mid game where we currently are we want to be working towards at least in this episode so i've kind of put together a list of things that we want to get we now have access to trading in our dojo um i'm just building a few more things in there at the moment in terms of you know reactors so that we can start expanding and building labs but for the frames that we want to get, I have made like a short list here of ones we want to collect. So we want to get Mesa. We want to get basic Gauss, Gauss, whatever, not Gauss Prime. We just want to get Gauss so that we can put him through the helmet and get Thermal Sunder. We then want to get hold of Vault Prime, then Titania Prime, then Banshee Prime, and then probably normal Banshee so that we can get Silence subsumed through the helmet as well. Now, obviously, before we get the helmet, we have to start ranking up on Deimos, and alongside Deimos, I also want to start ranking up on Cetus as well. I want to get hold of a Zor, so we want to get one, probably we're going to get a Exodia Contagion Zor as a priority. Uh, for that, we'll probably need to get a Riven mod, so yeah, we'll see where we land with that. We then also probably want to get ourselves a carry weapon. Uh, two, ty two types of carry weapon, I'd imagine. So we want one that's going to be super high fire rate, high damage, such as the Fenmore, or potentially Burst on Prime, or something along those lines. Maybe even the... Actually, no, probably not the Torrid, because we want to use it for Archon Hunts as well, eventually. So, yeah, maybe Fenmore. We'll see. Then we also want an AoE weapon that's going to carry us also, and I'm thinking probably we'll go with the Kuva Brahma for this playthrough. I went with the Kuva Ogress last playthrough. And yeah, I just think maybe Kuva Brahma might be better with a lower cost build than the Kuva, than the Kuva Ogress was. So yeah, we're going to head for Kuva Brahma. But to do all of that, we need to get on with quests and whatnot. And yeah, that's that's basically where we're at now. We need to do this new, new quest up here, the second dream. In case you're wondering kind of how I've got to this level, um, obviously clearing out nodes on the star chart gets you XP. So you need to bear that in mind. When you're ranking up, if you're struggling to get up, the MR ranks, so you want to be ranking up weapons, but you also want to be clearing out nodes because they do give you a bit of XP as you go. It's not a whole lot, but it does contribute and you can get up much faster through the ranks if you uh, complete the nodes on the star chart whilst ranking up. So yeah, basically all I've been doing off camera in between episodes is doing just the basic nodes on the Grenier tile sets whilst ranking up weapons, primarily Rhino and Vectis, which you can now see is rank 30. Um, and Rhino is now rank 27, so he's nearly max rank as well. So that's really good. And yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, we are going to get straight on now. Don't want to waste any more time. Let's just hop straight into the second dream. And uh, yeah, hopefully when we come out, we'll have access to sorties, or at least be on the route to, uh, to getting sorties accessed. Okay, so I can't actually remember what I want to start with here. I kind of am thinking Nariman. I am not going to be doing... Eidolon hunting early doors this time around, and when I do, I'm not sure... Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll need. But I know I can get more focus generally if I take Nariman, or I'll be able to collect it faster using Nariman. So maybe that's where I want to start. Zanuric is obviously good for maintaining energy. Unairu is going to help us stay up once we get our AoE weapons, and generally just help keep us alive. I think the one I definitely don't want to pick is Vazara, and that's not going to give us any kind of benefit right now. And Madura would obviously help us deal extra damage in Operator. It's tricky. I, I, pro I think I probably went Zanuric last time. I'm going to go Nariman. Um, I can't remember if we actually get any focus lenses this early on. But I think having Nariman will allow us to progress the skill trees much faster.
Sedna very soon. We'll also get to Eris as well, I think. So we've got to complete five ways of defense on Stoffler and also open three Neo Void Relics. Do we have three Neo Void Relics? Let's just have a quick look. Yes, we do. We have exactly three. That's nice. Good. All right. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I thought I had my microphone unmuted for that, but you saw there we were able to do the um, the junction on Sedna. Uh, since we now have access, or we've completed the Rising Tide, we've done the Railjack quest and we have access to Railjack. I've also gone ahead as well and bought some Sentinel br blueprints as our Kubrow is now nearly maxed rank. So it's going to be good to keep these coming through and ranking them up because like I said, they are a very good source of early MR. Uh, Dariga, we just need a couple of Argon Crystals, which we'll hopefully collect in due course. Um, but in the meantime, now that we have access to Sedna, we are just going to go ahead and like gun it straight for Hydron. The reason we're going for Hydron is because I want to spawn these Grustrag 3. Like, I can't believe they haven't spawned already, given how many Grenier missions I've done since we had them. Uh, where are we over here? So yeah, I want to get on with that ASAP and hopefully we'll get Split Chamber from them and, you know, a Brack part or two maybe. If we don't get it from them, we'll obviously have to farm up another mark. But also what we can get from Hydron is Neo Relics. So usually after 10 rounds, you'll have two Neo Relics from doing this. So I'm going to stick it on public. It's also a really good way to get XP. Obviously, I'm not just going to sit there and leech off of other players. I am going to run around, do as much damage as I possibly can. Mag is a really, really good frame for helping out teammates. She armor strips basically across the map. So, you know, that's a given. And her fourth ability can also clear pretty well as well. So we're going to be using her rather than Rhino. Although we could use Rhino to buff our teammates. But in terms of dealing damage, Mag's probably just the best choice. So yeah, going to head straight up there, guys, and we'll see how much we can get done. So even with mag guys, no Oricon reactor and barely leveled up mods in this lobby of MR22, 18 and 11, somehow we're doing the most damage <laughs> and have the most kills. Not really sure what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, so I've been going way too long on Hydron now. I don't know. The Grustrak 3 just don't want to spawn. I've done so many Grenier missions now, up to five minutes, and just nothing. I don't get it. 
So we're gonna leave it be for now, they'll eventually come, but we're gonna have to just stick with not having split chamber for now, which is a real bummer to be honest, because it's kind of a crucial mod for us at this stage. This is our Vectus build that we're running with at the moment. We will be leveling up Serration. Just to see, I think we can actually max that out. Hmm. I have to do, I have to decide what I want to like have on here in terms of like maxed Hellfire or Stormbringer or whatever. Yeah, we'll have to see. But for now, you know, we're just going to have to roll with it. So I'm going to go ahead now. We've got really two things that we want to do. The first one is we need to complete the wall within. That's a given. The second one is we want to start farming and opening up a lot of Void Relics. Uh, the reason we want to be doing that is so that A, we can get some Platinum from selling parts, and B, so that we can start gathering up the parts we want for the frames that we want. Uh, so as you can see here, I've collected, you know, 6, 8, 9, 10 Neo Relics from doing those Hydron runs. So that represents about, well actually it's more than 5 because on a lot of them I did get mods rather than Relics. So it's, I've been doing Hydron for about an hour now, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. But yeah, we'll be opening all of these relics. We don't have any axes yet. Axes do obviously contain the most valuable stuff in terms of platinum value, but, you know, we'll roll with it. First of all, though, like I said, we are going to just do the war within. Get that out of the way, because what we also want to get eventually is going to be a coup for Lich. And then, yeah, we can go ahead and get ourselves some nice weaponry. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, guys. I'll catch you in a bit. There we go. Let's destroy it. Why not? Okay, guys. So, War Within is now complete. We have some extra stuff here. We've got Broken Scepter, Orvius, Rifle Riven mod. Uh, we've also got our personal quarters segment blueprint, which I believe we're going to need to make in order to get Excalibur Umbra. So I'm going to focus that for a second. I think I'm just going to need an Argon Crystal or two. Let's just double check that. Uh, so no. Yeah, one Argon Crystal, so that's fine. We've got some more Sentinels now that have come through that we can go ahead and collect, as well as some more weaponry. So that's nice. I do also want to be focusing on getting us some more former as well, so we can start building out the dojo. I want to get void keys, so we can start farming up corrupted mods. We also need to get over to Mott as well. So much stuff to do, guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to come down here, over to the void, and then we need to yeah, track our way over to Mott, complete that. Um, and I'll probably do that at the same time as obviously getting our Argon Crystal for the personal quarters segment. It's all, it's all, it's all kicking off, guys. It's all kicking off. Nightwave-wise, we haven't really got much further, to be honest. So, yeah, might want to focus on this for a bit. We are also going to have to start work on the uh, the three kind of factions on Deimos, Earth, and Venus, so we can get those guys ranked up and get access to our helmet. Deimos is probably the one I'm going to be prioritizing to begin with, and then I'm probably going to prioritize Earth and then Venus. That's kind of my order. Although I'll be trying to do all of them as best I can <laughs> at the same time. So yeah. 
I'm just going to crack on, guys. We're going to get over to Mott and try and get a hold of Excalibur, Umbra, and Co. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so completed Mott, and we now have the Chains of Harrow, and we have our personal quarters as well. So I think we have to complete the Chains of Harrow maybe before we get Excalibur Umbra. I really can't remember when we get it, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get some more stuff on the go. We also have access to sorties now, obviously, so I unfortunately don't have access to the second mission here on Deimos. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to go for it. I don't have time to get there right now and get through both of these assassination missions. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and get into the Chains of Harrow. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how we do. Okay guys, so unfortunately I have run out of time this week, kind of sad, uh, I thought I was going to have a bit longer, but yeah, we're going to have to end the episode there. We have got pretty far, actually, not going to lie, we've done a lot of the hard quest work, so we're now up to Chimera Prologue and eventually we'll be heading into the new war. Once we've done the new war, we'll have again a load of stuff that we can rank up and we'll have access to a load of new things. I want to know what you guys think, by the way, as to how you want me to show the new war. Obviously it is a very important moment in any playthrough. Do you want me to release an entire playthrough of the new war as like an episode or as a separate thing? Let me know if you want commentary on it. I don't really know how to uh, 
you know, go for it. And this one in the last series I did, I'm pretty sure I just kind of skipped the whole thing and just did it off camera. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see with that. Um, but yeah, moving into next episode is big. Um, we have got lots to do. And we have access to so much now. Barricadier is going to be here very soon this week. And we need to get to uh, MR8. I've had a quick look. He's going to be at the Pluto Relay, which I've now forgotten the name of. But either way, we're going to need to be MR8 to access that. So we're going to need to do that real quick um, in order to get access to him. And in the meantime, we will be opening Relics as well. And I'm going to talk about that at the start of next episode. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, guys.